I'm obsessed with the bag charm. Maybe I should just get the bag charm. Um, yeah, another reason why I was kind of like thinking, should I get this or not, is because I noticed on uh, the runway, there's gonna be this like really cute floral mini puzzle bag. And I'm like, oh, do I like that more? Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm Jess. If you love shopping and handbag videos, please like and subscribe to my channel. All your support would be very much appreciated. I found some little sneak peeks of the Loewe House Moving Castle collaboration. Now I did already talk about this not only recently and uh, I was talking about some of the leaks I noticed on Instagram um, and you can go back to that video and watch it if you like but I've actually just discovered a few more leaks that I found on Little Red Book which I find that Little Red Book has more updated information than Instagram and you, you're, it's easier to find leaks. Um, I don't speak Chinese so I find it very hard to navigate but a trick that if you are um, only English English speaking a trick that I've done is I just type English words into Google Translate and I copy and paste the Chinese symbols into a little red book and I can kind of search like new season um, collections that or like leaks so that is how I found these leaks I think the uh, House Moving Castle collaboration is going to be launched on February 2nd. It is the third studio um, Ghibli, oh my gosh I forgot how to say it again guys, um, collaboration from Loewe and it will be the last as well. So it's going to be I think uh, very much anticipated. A lot of fans of uh, House Moving Castle are probably going to be um, into this if they also are into designer bags. So the first leak is flamenco pouch which seems to be in a fluffy texture i'm gonna guess it's some sort of shirling and it is the calcifer character um basically in a flamenco pouch which i think is incredible i think the color scheme is amazing the the whole flame thing i mean imagine carrying this in real life this is like a showpiece um i assume it's going to be rather expensive just because of the size and also the fact that it's shirling, it could be rather expensive and I wouldn't be surprised if this is going to be one of the most popular key pieces of the collection so I'm also going to assume it's very limited but it looks incredible especially in this photo shoot. The next bag was actually a bag that I found on Vestiaire Collective which is so random but I'm not sure if this is a sample but um, it's actually been leaked on Little Red Book as well and this is an Amazona uh, with the House Moving Castle characters on it, obviously. Have a look at the detail up close of the leather marquetry as well. You can see that Hal's earring is a little bead. And yeah, I mean, this is such a cool piece. Um, I mean, incredible, right? Would you guys buy this? I, it's, it's mainly just like a talking piece, I'd say. I mean, I love it. Obsessed, obviously. Um, I think if you are planning to buy this on the website, um, I would go for this first because I think this is going to sell out very fast. And I have seen similar ones from previous years. Um, there's not, they're very rare to find basically. Like I remember last year there was also a Spirited Away version of this and it's very rare. It's very hard to find. Okay, so we also have a puzzle bag with Calcifer in orange leather. Um, this was a leak that I saw last week, but also notice that there's going to be another puzzle bag in a tan color with the same Calcifer character on it. So from these leaks, we can see there's going to be an orange color and a brown color. I'm not sure if there's going to be another color, but I wonder if they'll also do these in the mini puzzle because I know last year they also did a few mini puzzle bags in similar designs. I am kind of tempted by this because I did have a mini puzzle on my wish list and I do quite like this classic brown color. I think it's very versatile and the calcifer is adorable. I did buy um, a Spirited Away uh, puzzle bag last year and it has been I mean, pretty good. I've been using it a lot. I think it's a great everyday bag. Um, it's I've worn it like quite a bit actually. It's not in pristine condition anymore, but I mean, I've really loved and enjoyed it. So, um, the mini puzzle was something that I was really wanting to get, and I wanted to wait for a special one. However, I. Oh, I have to show you guys, I bought, like, I already showed you guys, I bought my garden party, I bought my bunny this month, and I also bought another bag on my holiday, which I'm going to show you guys this weekend, so stay, stay tuned for that unboxing, but I've already bought three bags in January, so 
I don't know if I should buy another bag, to be honest. I think that's a bit irresponsible of me, to be honest. Um, I mean, I could, but I just feel like since I said I was not going to buy as many bags this year, and now I'm just going to buy four bags in one month, I mean, it's a little bit much. But at the same time, it's not like Loewe are going to just drop another like how's moving castle collection ever again so there's a part of me that's like should i just go for the mini puzzle even though i'm like totally like going overboard with the bags this month anyway guys let me know but um yeah another reason why i was kind of like thinking should i get this or not is because i noticed on uh the runway there's gonna be this like really cute floral mini puzzle bag and i'm like oh, do i like that more because that's quite cute with the white and the pink flowers and there's also one with purple flowers anyway i would just like to collect one mini puzzle so i'm trying to see which one will be the best one to get and i don't know guys i think it's really bad timing for me but let me know is this a bag that you're gonna snag because i feel like it's gonna be one of the most popular bags of the collection also something to note about this is that it's not in the classic more grained calf skin this is in more of a shiny um smooth texture so this puzzle bag is going to be a lot more structured than this puzzle bag here so if you're not into like the smooth uh more structured puzzle um you might not like this because i know this leather is easier to scratch as well and it has more of a like a boxy um smooth finish so it really depends on your taste but i know this one is going to be easier to scratch than the normal calf that you sometimes see with the puzzle there's also this house moving castle bag which is um i mean ridiculous but it's definitely a collector's item so um yeah i mean it looks like it's made up of lots of pieces of leather it's giving me like kelly doll vibes with the little feet hanging off but yeah i mean look at that i mean that is a crazy bag right and another leak i noticed was this bracelet pouch bag with the heen dog on it this is definitely another statement piece i feel like a lot of the pieces in this collection are more just like talking pieces this is definitely not the most practical bag but it's a bag that you can either wear um i think it comes with a little strap as well or you can wear it as a bracelet so it's pretty cool and if you look at this guy as well he's got a little um charm around his neck it looks like some sort of lanyard not sure if it's like an airpods holder or something but it's this old man with little strings so that's kind of cute so if you want to get something small from this collection maybe this little lanyard necklace could be one to get i mean maybe i should just get this guys like i mean that's not too bad um so next leak this is like the juiciest leak i noticed there is a little fabric pouch with uh the grandma on it and this could be something that you put within bags. So I noticed that Loewe sell separate pouches that you put into basket bags. So this could be something to put into a basket. So I assume it's not going to be that expensive. Um, you also have the uh, Hammock Nugget bag, which is a relatively new bag for Loewe. It's quite cute in this pastel blue color. And it features this um, old man face with fringing, which represents his beard, which I think is absolutely hilarious. And I'm curious to know if many people will buy this bag because it's ap absolutely ridiculous, but I love it. I don't know if it's something I would buy, but it's it's pretty funny. Um, and you've got a wallet with Hal with, um, this actually features little crystals on it as well. So this is quite a, a beautiful little wallet. Oh, I'm obsessed with the bag charm. Maybe I should just get the bag charm. Um, there's a little calcifer bag charm. That is adorable. Okay, I love that. You've got the puzzle bag there again. That's going to haunt me forever. Um, the t-shirt with the witch is incredible. I do have a few, um, Loewe t-shirts and, oh my gosh, guys, obsessed with this. This is so cool. And you've got the little uh, card holder with the, um, like, a scarecrow character on it in the yellow colour. And I'm not sure what this dog is, whether it's like a brooch. I actually have no idea. Uh, but that's that. Um, and then the final leak I noticed was um, this dice pocket bag has um the heen character on it so the dice pocket is actually a very affordable bag it's only like a thousand australian dollars and it's just like a pocket for your phone basically so um if you want something like more affordable from this collection maybe go for the dice pocket because um it has the leather marquetry on it and it's a very simple bag i mean it's an extremely simple bag guys it kind of reminds me of um the 
the Hermes A-Line bag. It's this kind of thing. It's a little bit smaller than this, but it's very simple. Like it just has like the strap and then just like an opening with no zip or anything. So if you're into the Hermes A-Line bag, um, this might be one that you might like. And you also have a tote bag here, uh, which has the House Moving Castle on it. And I mean, that's pretty awesome. I mean, it has a massive graphic on it. Um, and he's wearing a shirt as well, which has um, this amazing like print on it. Oh, and if you notice on his neck, uh, he's got these little like, I think they're the heel pouches. Um, so there's two. Oh my god, that's really cute too. Maybe you just want to get like something like that, but like, that's a bit more affordable. Um, there's one with the the girl character on it. I forgot her name now. Oh, I got a mental block. And then there's a pink one with uh, some other guy on it, I think. I can't tell what it is from this leak. And that is all the leaks I've noticed so far. So um, I guess I'm going to keep looking for leaks, uh, but that's all. I mean, it's coming up soon, so I probably won't do any more videos on this collection. But let me know, is there something you're planning on snagging? I'll be curious to see um, if people do unboxings and stuff, because I would love to see what these pieces look like. And anyways, thanks for watching my video today. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you on my next one. Bye!